the faceless girl. Rio was a girl who was famous for her beauty. She was not only beautiful, but she was also talented at music. She had won numerous awards since she was a child. Everyone loved her, so everyone wanted to be her friend. This made her become arrogant and conceited. On the other hand, Ari was a girl who was almost unknown in school. She thought she was ugly, which led to her having low self-esteem. She was also shy and introverted. This caused her to have no friends. Even her classmates didn't seem to want to acknowledge her existence. One day, Rio was walking to the hallway while talking to her friends. Ari was cleaning the floor, unaware that anyone was there. Rio and Ari accidentally bumped into each other, causing the mop bucket to fall and spill dirty water all over the hallway. Rio did not even say a word of apology. She looked away from Ari and walked away without a care. Ari was furious. She followed Rio and demanded an apology. Instead, she was met with insults and mockery. Rio's friends joined in, <laughs> laughing at Ari. Ari's face turned red with anger and shame. From that day on, Ari was the target of Rio's bullying. Every time Ari walked by, everyone laughed at her, whether she could hear them or not. As the days went by, Ari's hatred for Rio grew. She decided to take revenge on Rio for what she had done. One day, Rio was sitting with her friends when Ari walked up to them quietly. As usual, everyone laughed at her. No one noticed the bottle Ari was holding in her hand. Ari quietly unscrewed the cap of the bottle of hydrofluoric acid she was holding and threw it at Rio's face. Rio screamed in pain. The sound echoed throughout the hallway. Rio's friends scrambled to get away, horrified. No one helped her. Rio lay on the floor, writhing in pain, screaming. Only Ari stood there watching her. Rio's beautiful face was burned away by the acid. She survived, but she was horribly disfigured. After that day, she refused to go back to school. One day, Rio committed suicide by hanging herself in her bedroom. She died a tragic death. After her death, rumors began to spread that Rio's ghost was haunting the music room. It was said that her ghost would stare at you with a malevolent gaze, and you would die if you saw her face. <laughs>